Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So this is my kind of June, July TBR, I guess. I could technically say July TBR because it is the end of June, but anyway, I'll just say June, July, summer TBR, whatever. I have a ton of books on my TBR bookshelf that I still haven't read, and I love reading summer romances when it's summer and it's nice out and I can go to the beach and like just bring a good summer read to the beach. So I went through the first shelf of my TBR shelf is romance books and I went through and picked out some ones that I think would be good summer reads. So I have a little pile of four books that are summer romances. I have owned most of these for a very long time so I am really excited and I'm going to start with reading When We Collided by Emery Lord. But a little secret, I'm actually almost done with this book. I started reading it yesterday and I read this book when I was in high school and was obsessed with it. Like I remember reading it and just thinking it was one of the best books ever. But I gave my copy out to a friend. I used to have a hard copy of this book and I read it and I gave it to a friend and she borrowed it and then I never got it back. So I've always wanted to reread this book because in my head it was just amazing and I was so excited for it. But then I didn't have it and then for Christmas last year my stepsister got it for me. So I finally decided to read it again. It's been sitting on the shelf like beckoning to me and I've been like oh I can't wait to read that book but it's like not a high priority because I've read it before even though I didn't remember it fully but basically I think this book does deserve more hype. It's not as good this time around just because I'm older I'm not a 16 year old teenager that's reading it and obsessing over the romance like it does feel a little bit more YA this time around but it is still really good. Basically the premise is this girl named Vivi moves to an island or like a little town in California called Verona Cove and I don't think it's an island actually I think it's just like a little I or <laughs> a little island town I think it's just a little town in California and she meets this boy named Jonah and Jonah and his family have just lost their dad and so he has a bunch of siblings that him and his older siblings are like trying to figure out how to do life with them how to take care of them his mom is majorly depressed after losing their dad and then Vivi actually has bipolar disorder but she doesn't want anyone to know she keeps it really locked up and secret but you can tell like I knew that about this book going into it since I'd read it before and that was one of the things that I remembered and there's like parts of this book that I remember really well like for some reason I envisioned like the kitchen that Vivi and her mom lived in in this beach house that they're renting and I've never forgotten what I imagined for that kitchen which is so bizarre so I'm reading this again and it's kind of fun to have those elements that I remember coming up with when I was younger and they're still there like I still remember them really well so anyway this book is definitely really good the cover is gorgeous I just think I love the paint splatter I think it's so pretty but I'm actually almost done with it it's like 300 and something pages and I'm on page 222 so yeah funny crazy story which is not really a funny story at all we had a crazy storm yesterday morning and as soon as Ty and I got to work, I got an email that we lost power in our apartment and then it was supposed to come back on at 4.30 this morning. So at 4.30 this morning, I kind of woke up and I checked like my phone because I had plugged my phone and my watch in to see if they'd be charging by the time we woke up and weren't charging. We still didn't have power and then I actually got up for work at 5.30 and still no power and then... It was supposed to come back on at 2 a.m. tonight and then I got home from work and I was just hanging out and I got an email that our power was restored and I like looked around and the power was not restored. So I was like maybe it'll take a minute for everything to like kick back on. I don't know. So then I was kind of just waiting. I was going to give it like five minutes before I reported an outage and then nothing happened and then I got another email that was like we just got notified that there's a power outage in your area and now our power is not supposed to come back on until tomorrow at 5 p.m. and I am just so frustrated and I know that it's a luxury not a necessity 
but it is so frustrating when you're just used to your normal routine and then it's super thrown off. I am about to go on a run and then take a freezing cold shower, which will hopefully like help me feel better and just like process better, but I'm just, I'm pretty annoyed. So last night I finished this book in like the setting of the sun. I was literally walking around our apartment finding like the last bits of sunlight to finish this book and then Ty reminded me he's like hey use your ring light like we have a little flashlight that we set up in the bathroom because our bathroom is like pitch black right now like it's so separated from the windows that it's just dark and so Ty was like get your ring light and use that and my ring light like clips onto my phone so I didn't even think about that like I was just in frustrated mode not like figuring it out mode so I finished this book last night with my little ring light and I am kind of bummed because this book meant so much to me when I was in high school and I read it for the first time and I loved it so much and I raved about it and I was so excited to reread it and then it was still good but it wasn't like it wasn't even a five star read this time like processing Jonah and Vivi which when I first read it I like loved her loved Jonah and then this time I read it it was really hard for me to like her because I mean it's not her fault like she's basically walking into a manic episode and she doesn't realize it but it was really frustrating to me that like nobody realized it and nobody like wondered and Jonah did have moments of like processing if something was wrong like it felt wrong but like he would just go along with whatever and so that really bothered me this time especially being older and like thinking about her mom who just didn't notice and there's reasons why like this book does explain that well but I was just more frustrated I guess with the storyline this time and I do like the ending though it is not your typical romance and this copy actually has a bonus chapter that I didn't read when I was in high school so it was a nice kind of like afterward of this whole book which was nice but I think I don't know I have a hard time because I feel like it's probably an average like three or three and a half star read for me but I still have to give it four stars because I just know I used to love it and it's really hard not to love it anymore so yeah it's kind of sad I almost wish I didn't read it because like in my head it was better than it actually was and that might be part of why I didn't like it as much but since I finished this by Emery Lord also the cover is just stunning I just love the cover but anyway I finished this one and it's by Emery Lord so I decided to read my other book by her Open Road Summer and I've never read this one or heard anything about it I literally just found it at the thrift store and recognize the name of the author so I decided to get it and read something else by her so this is my next read I'm gonna go on a run and then probably start reading this after Ty and I eat dinner tonight I was really craving a frappe and I like wanted to go and get a coffee so bad but I was like you don't need to go and do that and so I made myself a little homemade frappe while I try to finish the rest of this book, Open Road Summer, I'm almost done with it. I'm on page 248 out of like 340, I think. And honestly, I almost gave up on reading this book because I know it's going to be an average read, like probably a three-star read. But it is really cute. It's just a YA romance, so it's just a really cute, like refreshing read. So I decided to keep going with it and I didn't give up on it and I'm actually really enjoying it. So I'm going to try to finish this and just enjoy my little homemade coffee. I keep making reading vlogs where I fail to update you guys. So I finished Open Road Summer. Honestly, pretty average read. I gave it like three stars maybe. It did, like the country star D really reminded me of Taylor Swift and it did have like a cute YA feel to it. Like it was definitely an enjoyable read, but not anything like spectacular or super special or anything. And the main character was like such a rebel, like baddie that there's this part at the end where <laughs> it's like the big love reveal and everything. And she's kind of a brat and she does something that I'm like, Girl, it was just way too dramatic, so that part was not my favorite, but overall, I mean, it was a really cute book. I think I am just going to leave this one in the little library, though, because it is so, like, destroyed, and 
there's just so much like gunk in the book like it's not a clean book i think kids had it before me so <laughs> i am just gonna give it away but then i read the proposal and this one was pretty cute at first i wasn't really feeling it like it just didn't seem like it was my type of book and honestly like i don't think the dialogue or the two main characters were like super cute or witty or anything like it wasn't my favorite so it was another average like three star read but i did like the main characters eventually i did like the love story like as it was progressing but I don't know, the humor in this one was just kind of cheesy to me and it wasn't my favorite, but it was a cute romance. So I did like it. I did finish it. Like I did read it all the way through, but still an average like three star read. But I have been so excited to read The Seven Year Slip because I do think that this one will be a five star read and I am like a hundred pages into it. So far, I'm really loving it. I kind of figured out like right at the beginning because I know what this book is about. So when she runs into the chef and he's like, lemon, I was like, okay, girl, like that's the love interest. I know where this is going and I think I'm right, but we'll see what happens. So I kind of liked that I knew what the premise of the book was. So then I caught that at the beginning and I knew like that was the guy that she was going to fall in love with. But so far, it is just so cute. It has made me laugh. I really, really like this author. I think she's really clever. And so far, I'm just really loving this one. Okay, it's been a minute, but when you're watching this video, it'll be all cohesive, but I have been doing a terrible job of updating because I have been reading a ton, like literally just flying through books and failing to vlog about them. So I'm sorry guys that once again, I don't have any footage of me reading these, but I finished up the rest of my summer TBR and I've read like two more books since then. Also, if my hair is crazy for work today, we went on a riverboat cruise for like team bonding and it was super fun. But anyway, I thought that I should probably finally finish this video because I'm so far past these books and I'm going to forget them if I don't talk about them. Basically, in my stack of my summer TBR reads, there's a book that I was so excited to read because I've just had a feeling that it would be a five star read for me. And that is The Seven Year Slip. And you guys, <laughs> this book is a five star read. It was 100% my favorite book of this video. It has become one of my top favorite books. Like I literally finished it and immediately wanted to read it again. It is just so unique and it draws you in and it just makes you think and it is so fantastic, so fantastic. If you're not familiar, basically the premise, which you probably are, but the premise is the main character moves into her aunt's apartment after her aunt passes away and the apartment can travel in time, but it can only go forward seven years or backward seven years. And so at one point she enters her apartment and there's this young man in there and she freaks out because she lives alone. And then she remembers her aunt's stories about running into people inside of the apartment from seven years ago. So then she knows that this guy is from the past and like seven years ago and they kind of fall in love with each other but then she meets him in the current time and the way like the chemistry between the characters the way that the story unfolds the main character is just such a go-getter i loved her i loved everything about this book literally i finished it and i just immediately wanted to dive right back into it and i just think the cover is so cute the design elements of this book are so cute and i know this author ashley poston has two other books out her first debut novel was the dead romantics i think and then she just published another one that is called a love story or a novel love story or something like that. But I definitely want to read more of her writing. I am obsessed. This is a favorite. So this one has been stamped. It is mine. It is staying and remaining in my library. I love it so much. 
but that is all that I have for you today. So that was my summer, which was more like the first week of July reading pile. I'm telling you guys, I am flying through books. It is crazy. I'm just spending so much time reading. So yeah, so <laughs> I just read like four books in like a matter of a week, which is insane. I read like two books in two days. So yeah, I've just been reading a ton, but this video was mostly pretty average reads until the seven year slip. And the seven year slip is definitely one of my little babies now. I love that book so much. It's so cute. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I have so many exciting videos coming out and I'm just thankful for all of you who hang out with me here on the channel. So thanks guys. Bye.